Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hassan. Has to fix. Today I've got Service Pro 4. I'm gonna show you how to hard reset. I'm gonna show you three ways that you can do. One through the laptop. The second one going to recovery mode, and the third one trying to use the USB to install the software and reboot it from there. And I also will show you how to go to the BIOS so you can set up the boot menu so it boots off from the USB. <laughs> first thing so let's go to start type reset reset this PC on it this way you can do if you're if it's stuck all the time or it's running slow and you just want to restart and the hard drives fall out you can do it this way if you can get through if you know your password you can get through you can do this way reset it so you click get started you can remove everything or you can keep your files it will keep all your personal files so that's one way and the second way is if you can't get in if you forgot your password then you want to reset the whole thing what you do is hold press shift button and restart restart keep holding shift button then it's going to take you to recovery mode then you let go once you're here go to troubleshoot reset this pc and again you can remove everything from here that's the second way let me just restart it one second i'll show you another way because sometime the third way is it will take you it won't go through when you kind of reset the when you press that reset pc it will take you to another menu that i will show you the only way to get out is to reset it so i'm going to reset it and switch it off switch it back on because some of them they have a password some of them got hard drive encrypted so some of them will show you let me just go to the i'll show you guys so let's put a little bit locker pass so some of them when you want to reset it you'll see this image you guys can see it will show you this that you need to put a number in there so to get past that what you need to do is need to create a USB so you can you need to create put the file a Microsoft Windows 10 is put into the USB and then boot it from there so today let me go to let me show you the website you need to go to HTTP slash Microsoft.com it's already here if you from you uh, USA you put ENUS software iOS then it will give you the image then you download the ISO file and then when it, when it, once you download it so let's click on it you need to use another laptop or PC to do this because if you can't get into it and you don't know the password obviously you're gonna need it and this will show you different options so let's go back so you click on it I'll put this in the description if you from US you put US if you're any other country you put the code in there so I'm from the from UK so I'll put GP iOS so make sure you put iOS file so it'll show you this iOS file and you click on it and then you download the file but what you need for the USB you need to be 8 gig because the file is quite big for Windows 10 you need to have 8 gig USB so let's minimize so I'm going to show you so now I'm going to show you how to get into BIOS settings in case you can't get into your if it doesn't work recovery mode when your hard drive encrypted with a password you can't get in and you need to use your USB to boot from so you need to set up your you need to set your service uh, service pro so you can boot from your USB so to do this you need to go to your BIOS and I will show you how to get into BIOS so all you need to do is a volume button up and a power button just hold it together it's gonna reset and then just hold it you can either swipe it down or just just hold it it's gonna go off and then it's gonna go to the bio settings just hold it interlink it to the bias then you let go and now we're in the bio settings so because we need to boot so go to boot uh, configuration and as you guys can see it's on windows boot management so now it's booting from windows but we need if you need to boot from usb you need to click usb only and and take this one and then once like this and then you save it that's how you do it okay so now i'm not gonna do that now so i'm gonna put it back on window boot management and restart now mine doesn't have a password description so i'm going to restart it and i'm going to show you the other way so hold shift again press the power button restart this way the way i'm going to show you next is if you've got a password and you don't have the hard drive description a password lock so you don't need to reboot from, from the usb if it doesn't give you the uh, description encrypted hard drive password that you need to then you need to boot from usb and 
load the files and install into USB. Otherwise, if it doesn't show you that, so you just click, click troubleshoot, then press reset PC, and then it gives you two options keep my files, or you're gonna remove everything, just click remove it. So, location restore, so it's gonna install it now, getting things ready. So, I'll just remove my files or clean the hard drive fully. So, you click the hard drive fully, and this process sometimes it can take quite a long time, it depends how full was your hard drive. So, it needs to erase everything to factory reset. Meanwhile, while it's doing that, make sure your charge is plugged in because you don't want your service pro switching off while it's doing a resetting process so click reset so this is gonna take some time it depends my service pro i cleaned it recently so i don't know if it's gonna take it shouldn't take that long well for your case you haven't cleaned it quite a long time it might take a long time so meanwhile i'm gonna show you i purchased this keyboard from amazon it's got a magnet and just connects to the bottom connection is kind of very useful very nice and slick i'll put this in the description also where you can get it so i'll get back to you guys when it's nearly finished so now it's nearly finished it's on 99 it's just restarting now Now it's trying to install the files. This bit doesn't take that long as much as other process that we just went through. So I'll get back to you when it's finished, nearly finished. So it just finished now, it's rebooting again. This process can take at least an hour. So now it's finished, so now I need to set up in UK. So click yes. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes. To add the second keyboard layout, skip. So now you need to connect to your Wi Fi. So let's do the limit of this setup now. You guys can do this later. So Windows 10 license agreement accept it and put your username so the next thing is do more with your voice you can use a online speech recognition you can set up this later or you can see, let's just say okay set up microsoft and apps use your location that's in no find my device and set this up later so let me just finish this quickly so send diagnosing data to microsoft it's a basic improve in can and type in sending in Typing data to Microsoft to improve and send them all this stuff is just advertisements for them to get your data. This might take several minutes. Whatever you do, make sure your charge is plugged in because you don't want this while you're doing all the reset for your laptop to go off. Otherwise, the software might crash and then you might have to restart the whole process again. There you go guys, it's finished, all the process is done now, now uh, it's good as new. If you guys find this helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to check out the keyboard, I'll put the link where I got it from. So thank you, bye.